Today marks two months since Hamas terrorists killed 1,200 Israelis, and tonight marks the first night of Hanukkah. The Jewish celebration that lights up the night comes at a time of darkness with this ongoing war and a rise in anti-Semitism. Ted News reporter Connor Dietrich shares how one local Jewish community is not let, what, let, letting excuse me, what's going on around the world stop them from their celebration. If you ask the Jewish community at Virginia Tech what Hanukkah means, they'll tell you light can get you out of darkness. The menorah is a source of light, and in a time when the Jewish community is facing so much darkness in this world, that light can be a sign of hope. Judaism's celebration of finding light in the darkness feels uniquely somber yet defiant this year. A year in which the Jewish community is at war overseas and facing an increasing amount of anti-Semitism here at home. There's a deeper feeling of importance this year just because it is a holiday that celebrates the Jewish people persevering like many of our holidays and our perseverance and strength is really important right now. Virginia Tech's Jewish community has remained resilient and together through it all. In some places, people are choosing to hide their menorahs in fear, but that wasn't the case in Blacksburg. Most holidays we celebrate with our family inside. As opposed to Hanukkah, we take the menorah outdoors. We illuminate the darkness outside and spreading this light that yes, we live in a, in a, in a dark world, but that, that little bit of light can spread, dispel much darkness. The next eight nights and eight days are meant to be filled with joy. At a time where some may say there's no joy left to be had, the Jewish community at Virginia Tech is saying perhaps the Hanukkah celebration couldn't have come at a better time. That doesn't demand diminish anything else that we're feeling. It doesn't diminish what's going on. But I think it's actually very helpful for people to feel a sense of joy, especially now. In Blacksburg, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.